Hello and welcome to my next tutorial about Prepomex. After a series about thermal and thermal mechanical simulations, we are going back to purely mechanical analysis. In this tutorial, I will show you how to simulate a rectangular pressure vessel subjected to hydrostatic pressure. So let's create a new model first. So this will be three dimensional model space and default unit system. And now I will import the geometry. Uh, you will see that the geometry uh, in this case is prepared for shell meshing, uh, so it's a surface geometry. And I will show you quickly how I prepared this in FreeCAD. Uh, basically, I extruded this uh, from the sketch and then I added uh, surface here. And uh, I used a uh, Boolean uh, tool um, called uh, Union or Part Fuse. Uh, to merge uh, both uh, surfaces and then I also used additional tool called uh, convert to solid mm, it, it's meant primarily for other purposes but in this case it allowed me to create a single shape so after ex importing to Prepomax I have just a single part instead of separate part for um, sides and separate part for the bottom uh, all right, so mm, now uh, let's create a mesh. Uh, I will specify meshing parameters. Uh, for maximum element size, it will be 40 uh, millimeters. And I will confirm this, but I will also create uh, mesh, uh, mesh refinement or um, local uh, mesh refinement. And uh, I will specify mm, size of uh, 18 uh, millimeters here. Uh, so let's confirm this and now I can create mesh. As you can see, the mesh is created, it's uh, refined here, uh, close to these edges, and this will be needed uh, to, to get uh, accurate results. Mm, so now I will create the material, and this will be a standard material, uh, like always, and this will be basically steel properties. And I also have to create a section, uh, so uh, let's define shell section with 10 millimeter thickness, and I will assign it to the whole uh, part. Uh, now this is defined and I can define an st analysis step. This will be static step, of course. Mm, and uh, now we want to simulate hydrostatic pressure, but let's maybe uh, apply a boundary condition first to the bottom of this uh, pressure vessel. And so now I just have to define uh, hydrostatic pressure. Uh, this type of load is quite new in Prepomex, and I will show you how you can define this. Uh, so let's maybe go to mm, the sheet where I have uh, mm, data for this example. Here you can see mm, those are the sides, uh, dimensions of the sides of the vessel. And the, the height is here, uh, here is the thickness, and I also have the equation for hydrostatic uh, pressure. Uh, this is the, the value that I'm going to use, but I won't specify it directly. We'll see mm, that uh, Prepomex can also convert, uh, the, the can do the calculation uh, like here. So mm, let's go back to Prepomex and I will define uh, the hydrostatic pressure load. Uh, so the first thing that I have to specify is the region to which uh, this hydrostatic pressure will be uh, applied. So I will basically select all the surfaces uh, here. Uh, and now mm, I can proceed to further uh, setup. Uh, so mm, let's maybe rotate this like this. And now I have to specify first point mm, and then magnitude of the pressure at this first location. So for the first point uh, I will and select uh, the location here uh, and the value is zero megapascals uh, because we're starting from zero here and going to the maximum value uh, here uh, now mm, let's go to the second point uh, and uh, i will again select it uh, like this uh, so uh, this will be the, the point with uh, zero uh, millimeter uh, z coordinate uh, and for this point i will specify the magnitude uh, and when it comes to the magnitude i won't specify it uh, directly and instead i will mm, do the calculation uh, so uh, let's uh, use the first density uh, in proper units uh, then mm, then the gravitational acceleration and uh, finally the height and when i press enter this will be uh, calculated so now you can see mm, that we have the right value. Uh, if I go to the sheet, you will see that uh, the, the value here is the same uh, as in Prepomex. So the, the calculation was done uh, correctly. Uh, now, uh, one more thing that I have to specify is pressure direction. Uh, I need to select uh, two points. Mm, so uh, let's pick uh, maybe uh, this point first and then uh, this point. And uh, now the definition is um, prepared, ready. All right, so let's confirm this. And now we can see that the arrows uh, show mm, how the pressure increases, that it's uh, lowest here, it starts from zero and then increases towards the bottom of the uh, vessel. Uh, we can also do one more thing to uh, see uh, the, the pressure distribution. I can right click and select preview. And now you can see mm, the distribution of the hydrostatic pressure. 
so mm, this is like we expect zero here and maximum value here all right mm, and of course it increases linearly let's go back to the um, fe model tab and now uh, i will submit the analysis the results are available now so let's check them and uh, now we want to check uh, the stresses and i will just uh, select the true scale and it will reduce this uh, deformation mm, and uh, now let's go to the analytical calculation uh, based on um, this uh, classic book works for missile stress and strain and here's the value that we expect this is the value mm, at the bottom of the uh, longer uh, wi or wider uh, side of the vessel so let's check this mm, let's use the query tool uh, as always and i will s verify the the values that can be found here and you can see uh, that we have very good agreement uh, when compared with the analytical solution uh, so we can mm, also of course check uh, additional points but basically uh, you can see that uh, with this mm, with this mesh uh, refined here we get really good uh, results for the mm, maximum uh, stress all right mm, and that's it for this performance tutorial thank you very much for your attention uh, as always feel free to ask any questions and suggest topics of future tutorials in the comments have a nice day and see you in the next video